six, seven, go. Hundreds of dance enthusiasts from around the world flock to Washington, D.C. every year to attend one of the most popular Latin dance events. Zook Immersion! The D.C. Zook Festival. This is like my third year attending. The D.C. Zook Festival? This will be our third year in a row. This event is part of the growing social dance scene, a rapidly increasing entertainment sector as some consumers are turning their backs to nightclubs and bars for ballrooms. According to Nielsen TD Link's research, between 2005 and 2015, over 10,000 bars in the U.S. have shut down. Over the same period in the U.K., that number has plunged by 45 percent and by 38 percent in the Netherlands, according to The Economist. Dance festivals like this are held in cities around the world, from Washington to Prague, from Rio de Janeiro to Shanghai. Attendees spend hundreds of dollars on tickets, travel and hotel stay. Their days are filled with workshops and evenings are for watching performances before the dance floor opens for all. The next festival I think I'll be in Europe actually. It's in October, it's in the Netherlands, it's called the Dutch uh, Zoek Festival, yes. A congress. Yeah, that's one of the biggest congresses in the world. We're going to do San Francisco Zook Festival, Zook Me, and then the San Diego Zook Encounter, and that's later this year, and then the Denver Zook Festival. Call it dance tourism, a trend many hotels are getting behind. What this does is it, it allows us to have people that are more, have maybe a different slant or interest for uh, the alt arts and cultures. Um, it has some exposure from an international perspective too. Some attendees get more out of these festivals than impressive dance skills. The entrepreneurial bug to start their own. I just started dancing and I saw that there was a need for Brazilian Zouk. A lot of people were enjoying the dance itself. And I felt like other major cities at the time, they had a festival and I felt like the nation's capital needed one as well. With the new dance festival in town come new opportunities for small businesses. For restaurants, I like to go to like places where somebody's grandmother owns it. Um, the food that's been catered here this weekend, uh, we've had different places, a lot of uh, places like, like from veterans, and I work with a lot of veterans, and uh, I just feel like it's always a good idea to give back to, to people in the community. The message these events send is simple. Anyone, anywhere can dance for a price. But for those who walk away confident of the moves was considered impossible. It's a worthy investment indeed. Nanuka Danelia, CGTN, Washington.